The health care costs in this province, in my opinion, are out of control. We can't sustain, I don't think, the way we're going. At some point, we're going to run out of money. So as a resident of Nova Scotia, I feel it's important that me as a person try and maintain my health the best I possibly can. Around every bend in the road, another vista unlike any other. Rolling pastures, thick forests, coastal villages. Tourists flock to Nova Scotia, but it's not just the breathtaking landscape, it's the people. Nova Scotians are world-renowned for being the most generous, the most welcoming, the most caring. But Nova Scotians have another reputation, one that you won't read about in a glossy tourism brochure. The fact is, if you live in Nova Scotia, your chance of dying from heart or vascular disease is higher than almost anywhere else in Canada. Nova Scotia's healthcare system is overwhelmed by chronic disease, and the implications are more far-reaching than most of us realize. There is a solution. We must change. Change our lifestyles to include better nutrition and more activity. Change the healthcare system to place more emphasis on the prevention of chronic disease. Change our children's education and give them the tools to make healthy choices that will benefit them and their communities for life. Change public policy to increase funding for programs and facilities that promote a healthier lifestyle. This is the message of the Heartland Tour. I uh, had a group of family doctors that, that we, we used to ride the Asmataugan Peninsula together and and uh, have lunch and we would always try to bring a, a specialist in to talk to the group um, afterwards and uh, one of those occasions was Dr. Jack Montonio who was our keynote speaker and and uh, so we did the Aspetagan ride and we were having lunch afterwards and he was uh, talking about being in uh, charge of the cardiac rehab center and he said we, we have all these resources but the people of Nova Scotia don't know about it. Like how do we get the word out to Nova Scotians that there is such a thing and they can come in for help and they can get uh, uh, recipes and they can get uh, heart healthy ideas and whatnot. And, and, and one of the doctors who was there at the time he said well why don't you ride your bike across Nova Scotia and stop in each town and tell people about the cardiac rehab center. And the next summer there was a Heartland tour. He said, that's a good idea. I'll do it. What I do is uh, vascular prevention. I, I, I do research that uh, looks at cost efficacy uh, to treat people with heart disease. But not just heart disease. Uh, people who have had strokes, uh, people who have had peripheral vascular disease. So, so disease of the blood vessels of the legs. I also look at people who have are at high risk, diabetes, other risk factors high blood pressure, high cholesterol, all the things that promotes and accelerates the disease state. I can do that in this province because we wave the flag a little bit higher than anywhere else in the country. And we're the second highest uh, for heart disease. Um, we have one of the highest uh, stroke rates. Um, we have to change that. It's not just sense from a health perspective. Uh, it makes sense from a business perspective, an economic perspective. The greatest price tag we pay for health is management of cardiovascular disease. I think uh, Chris Donchamon loves to quote the $88 a minute. Second, oh, see that costs 200 bucks just to straighten that out. And if we don't change that, it doesn't matter how many parks you build or how many bits of pavement you put down or whatever you erect, you can't afford it. You can't afford the health care. And without the health care, business doesn't invest. What is the disability rate in that community? What is the utilization of, uh, of, of health care plans? And if they're too high and they have a cut point, they don't invest. The eventual demise of the community will be inevitable. 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 You know, when you have people who are living their lives sick for 20, 30 years before they pass away, it's, you know, it's something that doesn't have to happen. So I think if we can you know, start to live more active lifestyles and eat a bit healthier and, you know, work these things into our community, like Ron was saying, with, uh, you know, having running groups, cycling groups, bike lanes, having, 
you know, just sort of making a global effort to get a little bit healthier, I think it makes a big difference. So. I think the Heartland Tour is showing the public that you, as an individual, can take control of your health. You can make choices. Uh, you can make choices uh, such as participating in cycling or running or walking uh, to positively impact your life. Um, and, uh, you know, the Heartland Tour is showing people of Nova Scotia that you can have a choice in your, your health. Um, the big hope is that, uh, is that the Heartland Tour um, becomes established as an important event throughout the province. And then the second hope is that, uh, Nick and I joke about it, it's the bonus. Uh, that if you, if you stay fit, not only will you live longer because your heart is healthier, but you'll probably reduce your risk for cancer along the way. Each summer since 2007, Dr. Jackie Antonio has assembled a group of 20 cyclists, mostly health professionals. They give up one week of their vacation to cycle together across the entire province, a thousand kilometers in total. This core team of the Heartland Tour spends one day in each of eight communities along the way, inviting the public to spend time with them and discover firsthand that preventing heart and vascular disease can be as simple as riding a bike. Some members of this core team are actually former patients of Dr. Giacomantonio. One such person is Chris Dontrema, Nova Scotia MLA and former health minister. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, just get a good look at this bandex. You ain't gonna see it very often. <laughs> I mean, ooh. <laughs> but it, uh, it dries quickly when the sun comes out, so... Uh, uh, you know, why did I get into this? Well, I got snookered by, uh, by Nick. Thank you. I have suffered from a thing called uh, atrial fibrillation for approximately uh, 10 years, since the age of 29. So every once in a while my heart goes kind of funky, and uh, we have to call in guys like Dr. Nick or, or, or Dr. Title, and they... Uh, they tell you things and try to fix it and, and those things, but ultimately it's a heck of a lot better that if you train and lose the weight and, and live a, a much more healthy life, uh, that the heart actually works a heck of a lot better. So that's why I'm doing this, and that's why I'm going for the next uh, 800 kilometers uh, around this province. Like Chris Dontrema, Nova Scotia Justice Minister and Attorney General Ross Landry recognizes the many benefits of a heart-healthy lifestyle. He advocates programs such as Pictou County's Bikeways Project, which will link several communities via bicycle routes. The Heartland Tour is more than a bike ride, more than a public awareness campaign. It's a movement, a call to action. Not in the future, but right now. We have the knowledge and the resources to lower Nova Scotia's high risk of heart and vascular disease. We can change the numbers and reduce this unnecessary burden of risk. How? By educating the public and partnering with businesses and governments to create community-based programs that promote and facilitate a healthier lifestyle. To be part of the solution, please join the Heartland Tour. Together, we can make a real difference.